everybody. Welcome back to my scrappy space. So we're going to be starting to do the mini kit Monday series for November 2021. And I am going to be scrapbooking about my husband and I and a quick little trip we made up to a little town that I just love to go to. And it was pouring down rain and we sat underneath an awning and we just had a, a latte. I bought a hat and it was just a good day. So I wanted to remember that. And I'm gonna share more when I do my layout about the special, the specialness of this. It's not our anniversary, but it will be soon. But I was just gonna share a little bit more about that. The sketch that I came up with is going to be from the page maps, November 21. And I'm gonna do an eight and a half by 11, which will be a challenge for me. I haven't scrapbooked an eight and a half by 11 for many, many moons. So hopefully I won't feel too crowded. I'm excited about just the challenge of it. And speaking of challenges, Dolly, one of the mini kit Monday ladies, put up a mood board, which is fall, but she also did tic-tac-toe challenges. And I had already pre-planned what I was gonna do, but I ended up going with something completely different. So here are the embellishments. Well, not the embellishments. One of the main embellishments that I'm going to be using is this border. I don't even know what they used to call them. It's a border strip, but it's very thick. It's from my mind's eye, and it's back in the year 2000. And one of the things that we've been working on in our crafty low or no spend group is going back and using our old, old product and just working through our stash. So Jeannie from the Girl Cave, <laughs> she challenged me to use this and so I'm gonna do it. I can never back down from a good challenge. But as I was pulling embellishments and paper and that type of thing, it it, it has been challenging. <laughs> But I think I have an idea and I'm excited to give it a whirl. And in doing so, I it spurred an idea to use the apple embellishment for the tic-tac-toe instead of these other ones that I had thought I was going to use. Excuse me. So I'm going to put those there. And I think I have a piece, oops, I think I have a piece of notebook paper in here. Oh, hey, 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 right there. There it is. Okay. I don't think I saw anything else in there. I am also working through my 8.5 by 11 cardstock and also my 12 by 12 cardstock. I have an addiction to paper. I do. And I buy a lot of cardstock and then I never use it. So, in doing these, I have decided that I'm going to pull extra so that when I'm cutting up for frames or whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the extra for card bases. While I'm cutting, I just cut a couple of more and just put them in a stack. So that will help with my card making that is also new to me. But I think I'm gonna use, haven't decided, but I think I'm gonna use one of those three. I think the red I'm just gonna use for a little pop of color like little tiny pop of color. So those are the eight and a half by 11s that I'm gonna use. And this is the paper that I'm going to be building my um, layout with, this burlap. And then I don't know if you can see it, but that's a tone on tone yellow that's just adorable. Here's the sticker sheet, which has some leaves and look, it has an apple. So I'm gonna pull that in. And then of course we have some more burlap and then what I'm also going to be using is the chipboard. Yes, you heard it, chipboard pieces. And these are the embellishments that I've pulled. I don't wanna forget my enamel dots. I always forget about my enamel dots. How do you guys store your enamel dots? Do you have them broke down into color? Do you guys keep them with a package and just have them in a flip? How do you have your stored and how do you remember to put them on? Or do you just always 
is that one of your finishing touches? I would love to know. So I have this, these red ones pulled or these brown ones. Oh, we can't cover up our challenge here because as I was going through my stuff, there's, I can't, I have these really super old, I don't know, they were like little die cut books. I don't even remember what they were called. I don't believe I have the original packaging. Yeah, I don't, I don't see it right, right now. But anyways, and it has these super cute little leaves, but look, it's got apples, which is part of my theme, and it's got some leaves. So we're gonna hopefully get those on there. And then like my good old chipboard, it's got leaves and some acorns and thankful and blessed and some burlap. So I'm gonna try to get some of those on there as well. Oh, and it has a bushel of apples. So you kind of see that my little layout's gonna take an apple theme here. And then these are also just some cut aparts. My layout that I was gonna scrap lift does have some thread, which I had already had that in there, which is, I just love when things like that happen. I don't know if I'm gonna be using any of the, these, sorry, it's crinkly and it's uh, probably has a glare. And I was gonna dig through this, my favorite, your special day. I don't know that I wanna introduce any new colors. I might pull in some, ooh, those are pretty. I'll pull in some of those brads. Yeah, there's, there's a couple there. Pull those in. Okay. Then, what else did I have? Oh, I have this container here. Sorry, snap. Let's see what we can pull out of here. So I gotta deconstruct or work on those. Those are too bulky for me. Bright and beautiful. Here's a brown label. Oh, the best that could ever happen to me. If that was a different color, that would totally work. I just don't think pink would ever. Let's see, perfection. Perfection with a heart, hello. That might be there. Oh, and maybe brown. Make time for fun. Hmm, I don't know that I would use that on this layout. Bunch of little critters and labels. I don't know which label I would use, but there is a label on there. Oh, look at those. I just love digging through little containers, even though they drive me nuts. It's kind of fun to see what you come up with. Okay. Well, I think that's good. I think that's good. And then the other one thing that I needed to have is the cork. And you guys remember that little container? Sorry, let me just put this away. If I don't, you saw the last crafty lounge. We don't want that happening again. And we found cork in this little container. So I can't believe this happened. This is my new fave, but there's some little pieces of cork and I hope we can at least get something on there. So that will be the start of my mini kit Monday layout for this month. And I hope you guys come back and see what I've created. Welcome back. As you can see, my layout is complete. It took a turn. I had some people come and you know, sometimes your scrappy days just never seem to be the way you planned them. One of the things that I really enjoyed about doing an eight and a half by 11, I cannot even remember if I've ever done one. And if I have, it's been so long ago that I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> Anyways, for being a 12 by 12 scrapbooker, trying to get two photos on a layout was very, very difficult for me. So I did not scrapbook, I'm gonna go through this stuff. I did not scrapbook this photo, but 
I'm going to be putting this in my 12 by 12 album, so I will be scrapbooking this photo and it'll be on the back side. So I'm so excited about that. And it was fun, it was challenging to do a 12 by 12, or excuse me, an eight and a half by 11 instead of a 12 by 12. This is the challenge piece that Jeannie had challenged me to do. That's a piece of cork that did not make it on there. And it was, um, it was kind of hard to find something that went with it or matched it. And I'm not sure if it was just me being off or whatever. But anyways, this is a photo of my husband and I. We went up to a place that we love to go to. It's just a little antique place that's about a half an hour, 45 minutes from our home. I love these little day trips. These are my favorite. They're just random. And I love that he does this for me. My husband and I will be celebrating our 36th wedding anniversary next week. And it, we've been together for 40 years. So that tells you how old I am. And no, we did not meet when I was five. <laughs> but anyways, he just does random things like, come on, let's go for a little road trip or whatever. So anyways, we just had a really good day. I did best pick because I picked a winner. He's an amazing man and I still just love him and adore him. I mean, there are some days, wow, something big's going by my house. Sorry about that. Um, but he's just, he's just an amazing guy. He really honestly is. And he truly is my best friend. Um, he doesn't scrapbook like my other best friend, but you know, it's okay. <laughs> Gotta diversify. Anyways, so this was the challenge piece that Jeannie put me up to. This was from my mind's eye, 2000, but, but there's actually something older. I was looking for this little trim piece right here, just something a little extra right here, I guess. And I found another piece of my mind's eye and look, Look at that, look at that, 1999. Yeah, I think this would constitute being an antique by now, right? <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, I'm using it and I still love it. And it went perfectly with this. So I had a lot of fun um, working with my challenges from that Dolly had put out there. This was my sketch that I used and I, I, I'm pretty darn close. I had to flip things because of my little apple basket. And the twine that I had, the, the um, thread wasn't thick enough so I went ahead and grabbed that. I did use some brads. Um, let me see what else. Oh, I was gonna share with you guys about the tic-tac-toe. Um, I was going to be doing the cork, the apple embellishment, and the notebook paper. I got the notebook paper, of course, the apple embellishment, but the cork, I just couldn't get it to work, and I didn't have any other pieces. So then we did end up going with this die cut orange and four pattern papers. One, two, three, four. So that was my tic-tac-toe challenge. I got it, I got it. And these are just random pieces of I don't know. So anyways, I hope you guys go and check out the Mini Kit Monday ladies. They are so fun, and I love doing these little challenges. And I will list everybody below, and I'm going to also list my friend Jeannie from the Girl Cave down below too. And I hope you guys have a super amazing week, and we'll see you back here next time. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.